Good morning. This is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor and Abraham Trading Consultants. This week was a very interesting week. Um, it's March 12, 2014. I've been traveling, meeting with um, all different types of investors and traders, as well as looking to raise money for my 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 management. I've been meeting with um, CFAs. I've been meeting with actually PhDs, some guys that were PhDs, and actually a gentleman who had sold his business and now sitting on a large amount of money in trading and really not fulfilling his goals as far as being a trading. And the general consensus that I, I, I gleaned from these conversations was, and that's the title of this little short video, is how many people really forgot the volatility and the risks that are inherent in the market, let's say like 2008, how risky the market can really be. People have forgotten. And you know, it's like, as much as I'm not a bull, I'm not a bear, I read what the market is telling me and try to make my best decisions based on all my years of experience. I mean, I'm aging myself going back to 1994. But I think it was pretty fascinating. I mean, what I see in the market right now, and before I even say that is, this information isn't geared to anyone specifically. It's educational only, and it's to help you become a better trader. And the reason I do this is, one is, it's a way of me giving back. I've been helped by people, and it's a way of reciprocating. And also, I'll say even, you know, let's say selfishly, it helps me become a better trader by seeing the, all the mistakes that many others make. And really, let's face it, trading is very tough. There's always losses. There's always long periods of drawdowns. It's never easy. And that's why you need to always work and try to become a better trader. And what I see in the market right now, and the, I guess the best word is apathy, or, you know, think the, this, this bull market can last forever, is there's an extreme amount of margin debt in the market. Yesterday, we ranked now six, six distribution days on the NASDAQ. Distribution days is when you have much more volume going into selling than into buying. And when you have more than four distribution days, it's a forebearer that there could be some very negative stock market action or falling. Um, that alone, the six distribution days on its own, isn't uh, you know the nail on the, the coffin or the silver bullet. What I use and suggest, or what I have suggested to these people that I was meeting with this week, is I said, you know what, use that one idea. Use another idea of also, you can also consider interest rates. If interest rates go up, that's not favorable to the stock market. And interest rates have pulled back a little bit. But even more importantly, use very simple ideas. Only simple things can hold up in the real world. Use a moving average. Pick your poison. I suggest I use a 10 and a 30. That if the 10 is below the 30 exponential moving average, the stock market's not healthy. And I don't want to be long. Or another simple way is if you're below a 20 period exponential moving average, it could be, you know, the, the, there's some volatility. And again, it's not perfect. You will get whipped around. There is no perfect. But what you're looking to do is avoid the big losses, again, that were prevalent in the beginning of the, you know, the 2000s and 2008. Because you can't live through those. 50% 50, 50 drawdowns are tough. Um, the other idea is if you drop, let's say, from the highs on the NASDAQ or the S&P, 3% or 4%, and you pick that number because there is no magic number. Then you, act, you, you, know, you look at the distribution days. Okay, you have more than four. Okay, that's a check. I'm below the moving averages. Check. I've fallen 3%, 4%. Check. You know what? I'm stepping to the sidelines. I'm looking to be prudent. And this is what I was discussing, you know, with, again, I met with some guys that were PhDs. And they weren't all that successful. And they brought me in to try to enhance their trading. And I'm like, you guys are smarter than me. But you're really not good traders. I didn't say that. I, yeah, whatever. But the thing is, I thought to myself, you have to be passionate, hungry, and driven in order to succeed with very simple concepts and do them over and over and over again. And not be afraid of having trades that don't work. And even watch my words that they don't work. Big deal. That means that you're risking a small percentage of your account size to see if the trade will work. These guys didn't get that. I also met with a CFA who's managing a lot of money. And, you know, he was vacillating between buy and hold, and he was talking about Warren Buffett and all this. And I reminded him how, you know, as great Warren Buffett is, look at his last year 10-year ten, ten track record. It's 
pretty tough going through two 50% drawdowns. I don't know many people that can sit through two 50% drawdowns if it's with Warren Buffett or someone who can walk on water. I just don't see it. That's really tough. You have all these psychological fear issues that come into play when that happens. Um, I had another gentleman, very interesting, very, very successful gentleman. A lot of money trading. Didn't really, he's not hitting his goals. And when I look, look at, you know, with the situation, he's trading for one reason. He's bored. He does not know what to do with himself. So he's taking up this hobby to trade. He sits in front of a screen. He has more screens going than I have TVs in our house and I have three kids and <laughs> I mean, who needs all those screens? And that's another point. I try not to even look at the screens during the day. Because really what it all boils down to, it all becomes psychology. It all boils down to fear and greed. And it's really, it's really fascinating to see all these issues when you deal with other people. And that's what I do. Besides being, again, I manage money professionally. And I'm looking to better my trading. And that's one of the reasons why I teach. Because I do my trading. I'm done. I look at dailies. I'm done. My orders are in. I'm finished at by 5 six o'clock in the morning I'm done and it, it really helps me to meet all kinds of people I do on-site visits I also do hourly consulting like I have a consulting in, with someone in New Jersey this afternoon and really to help traders become better and it's with all my years of experience it's not theoretical experience this is in the pits in the grind of it in the trenches I mean I trade for a living I've seen bull markets, I've seen bear markets, I've seen things that, like I said, people don't believe it can happen. Who believed the NASDAQ would fall as much as the NASDAQ fell? Who believed it could retrace so much? Who remembers Enron, WorldCom, I mean, Cisco, all of these things. Anything can happen. And where we're at right now, potentially, again, without being a bull or a bear, could be one of the biggest bubbles ever in the stock market in the bond market potentially so you need to have a trading plan and this is what I do I help you develop a trading plan know what to buy how much to buy when to get out with a profit or with a loss and no you know it's it's all a process and the only way that I've seen people become successful is when they're methodical and this is what I do this is what I can do to help you if you want the help I've written several books. You can pick up the books. Or I'm also the you know these one-on-one -on -one consulting, which I really think is the best to really help. I mean, you can buy a course, and it's not. I, I had people that they, they'll buy my course and they'll think that they can read it over the weekend and become successful come Monday. It doesn't work that way. It's a long process. It took me a long time to really get it, and I'm still struggling always to you know grind out profits. And you know what happens is you stumble into trades. They just, not that you knew anything, not that you were smart. I have, I'll, I'll finish it with this conversation. There's this huge, huge um, firm. Had a conversation with uh, one of the guys that I know there, looking to raise money from them. And we were talking about the trading. And, you know, like I'm having a nice run with my programs. And he asked me, asked me why. And I told him the truth, which always has to be. Is I just stumbled onto some trades that moved. Not that I did anything special. I didn't change anything. Markets moved. I was able to partake. I mean, coffee went ballistic. Um, some of the grains went really well. I also had position sizing that helped me. It's not your thinking that, that makes you. It's being consistent, doing the same thing over and over and over again, and being available and looking to try to manage the risk. Again, this is Andrew from Abraham Trading Consultants. I'll put the web pages on underneath this YouTube. And if I can help you in any way, just let me know. Again, this is solely for education. There's no trade recommendations. The only recommendation I have, usually, is to have a plan. Thank you.